vapor kid back. I made a video a while back and I stated that I was going to take it and have it tested for emissions. Well I didn't do it because I redid this vapor lawnmower, did some more studying on Tom Ogle and built it a lot better. And I did a lot of uh, remodifying to it. As you can see, everything's built out of copper. Everything is coming out of the exhaust head, going through the box, and it's heating up the fuel. When this thing gets up to 160 degrees, she starts vaporizing the gas real good. Might have to be hotter to completely crack the gas, but at 160 degrees, this thing will run. It does the job. So, with further ado, I'll start the gasoline line more up first. I'll take a temperature reading of the spark plug, then the head temperature, then the exhaust temperature. Then I'll go over to the vapor line more and I'll do the same thing and show you the difference between the readings of what is coming out with the exhaust. And then later sometime in about three days me and my friends are going to take it up to the station. We're going to test it on the gas analyzers and then I'll put it on YouTube with the readings. I'll show you what she does. So I'll go ahead and start this up and I'll show you the readings.
You've seen it yourself. You couldn't grab hold of a lawnmower muffler on regular gasoline. It would give you a third degree burn. You've seen it. I held on to it running 79 degrees, 82. It definitely runs cooler. And a lot of people are saying it's running lean. I can't see it running lean. If anything, it would be running rich compared to the gasoline engine. And the smell is virtually no smell at all. This is the way Tom Ogle was doing it. And he was getting well over 200 miles. Just a little bit over 200 miles to the gallon. And this was, uh, you know, they had a lot of people test it out on them and check it out. And that's what he was doing. When you heat the fuel, you're heating the molecules. You're stretching them. On one gallon of gas, this thing would run and run ungodly hours. We're talking close to 100 hours. It's been proven. You know, I know a lot of people are going to see this and they're going to say, well, it's running lean. No, it's not running lean. Because if it was running lean, it would be overheating, it would be missing. If you noticed on the gasoline engine, it was kind of kind of missing a little bit. Gasoline senses when the engine can run on vapor. That's what it was supposed to have run on to begin with. A lot of people are saying, well, no, 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 no. That's what the carburetor is for, mixing the vapor. No. The carburetor does not mix vapor. It's itemizing gasoline, little speckles of gasoline. The vapor is being thrown off of the gasoline. The rest is going out the tailpipe. And like I say, nobody can prove it to me different wise. I just wanted to get it, show you what the difference temperature wise was between gas and vapor. Now I'm going to take it in about two or three days since I got it the way I want it, I'm going to have it tested at a mission test. And then we'll get our readings. So when I get it done, I'll post it on YouTube and I'll show you what readings I get. Talk to you later, Vapor Man or Vapor Kid.